I am presenting to you today the first landmark and historic case in India of deployment of the commercially available absorb stands. Now, this is not only that the first absorb stands were deployed, but at the same time, this was unique in which where four absorb stands were deployed in this patient. So, in brief, this patient is a 71 year old post CABG patient whose grafts to the RCA and circumflex have closed down, his lima to LED is patent and here you can see the diagnostic shoot of the RCA showing you the proximal RCA lesion which is around 70% which is short and discrete and you can see another short and discrete lesion in the mid RCA which is around 90%. This is an AR2 guide catheter 7 French and this is a whisper wire being parked distally as you see here that the proximal lesion is nearly touching the tip of the guide catheter is nearly touching the proximal lesion and it was dampening the pressures so we had to quickly without going into shoots quickly take a balloon catheter and dilate the proximal lesion with a 2.5 into 12 millimeter uh, non-compliant track balloon at around 14 atmosphere then we go ahead and uh, dilate the distal lesion with the same balloon at around 14 atmospheres and then take a shoot as you see here now the pressures were better the dampening was less this is the absorb stand if you see here that this is 2.5 into 18 matched 1 is to 1 you can see the proximal and the distal marker within the balloon markers this was deployed at 14 atmospheres initially and then up to 16 atmospheres so we take the check shoot and we see a nice lumen now of course from 5 or 10 percent residual lesion now we can see the second absorption strand being deployed in the proximal lesion this is a 3 into 18 millimeter again you can appreciate the markers within the balloon markers the absorption strand markers that is the proximal and the distal markers which is around 1.2 millimeter within the balloon marker we have this is the placement of that uh, you have to see that uh, you don't leave any edge dissections because it will otherwise land up in a second absorb stand. So now we deploy. The deployment of the stent in absorb is slow and gradual. You go two atmospheres every time, wait for five seconds, go two atmospheres. And as you see here from 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 and 16 atmospheres which is the maximum which we can go with this balloon. So at 16 atmospheres we deploy this 3 into 18 millimeter and then take a check shoot post nitroglycerin we take a check shoot and as you see here you have nice lumen with no dissection or thrombus and no recoil whatsoever okay so now with this we end the deployment of the RC and we go to the circumflex lesions as you see here this is on a bend with around four lesions and a long lesion uh, so we take the diagnostic shoots of that first and then we go with a guide wire we measure the length of the lesion which unfortunately is more than 30 millimeter now we dilate this with the same uh, 2.5 into 12 millimeter non-compliant balloon we first dilate this distal lesion and then we go ahead and dilate the proximal lesion both at around 14 to 16 atmospheres and this 2.5 at 16 atmosphere we dilate the proximal lesion also now we have to see that we dilate the pre-dilate the lesions 1 is to 1 that means if you are going to use a 3.5 millimeter stent at least you go ahead with a 3 millimeter balloon up to 14 16 atmospheres and see that there is no residual recoil or lumen left now with this 2.5 we were not satisfied with the lumen and therefore we went ahead with a 3 millimeter balloon at 16 atmospheres and as you can see here there is a dissection which uh, is now being covered by the absorb strand we have taken a 3.5 to 28 millimeter covering the distal three lesions and we deployed this at 16 atmospheres which is the maximum uh, atmosphere uh, to which we can go with this absorb strands and we find that this the result is acceptable the residual stenosis is less than 10 percent and we don't go ahead with a post and dilatation we 
took about 60 minutes uh, 60 seconds sorry to deploy this and now we try and uh, go to the deployment of the fourth stand proximal to the distal stand being deployed this took some degree of manipulation to go on and overlap with the distal stand because the stand struts of this fourth stand was getting stuck into the proximal struts of the third stand. Finally, we could do that and we could match with the markers of the distal stand and the proximal stand and then deploy it at 16 atmospheres. As you see here that there is a residual lesion there. Now, as I said that you can't go oversize the balloon. If you have taken a 3.5 stand you can't take a 4 row balloon and go with post stand dilatation but you take the same 3.5 non compliant short balloon go within the stand and go up to 24 atmospheres we went up to 24 atmospheres to break that uh, recoil or to break that uh, residual lesion which was there and then uh, we go ahead and overlap the the overlap segment also is post dilated and then we take the shoots, we find that the lesions were good and acceptable. There was no thrombus or prolapse, plaque prolapse or any dissection proximally or distally. And therefore we accept this result and finish this case. This is a unique case wherein the first times the commercially available absorbs were available in India. And this is the first patient to be deployed at 7.33 am on the 20th of December 2012. And it's also unique that four absorb strands were deployed in one patient, which is also a, a, a most unusual thing about this case.